Welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing frosted sticky buns. This is a fantastic recipe that your family will love. I come from a large Mennonite family and my dad was a baker and this is the way he would have made sticky buns with frosting on the top and sticky on the bottom. This video I am going to be doing a step-by-step. -step. My goal is to help you have a successful turnout with your sticky buns. One of the first things that you need to do when working with yeast dough is have a warm atmosphere. If your kitchen is pretty cool, you might want to turn your oven on. Also, having your oven on is going to be a great way for you to sit your sticky buns on top to raise. Making sure that my measuring cups are also warm, I measure out four cups of really warm water. Next, adding two tablespoons of active dry yeast, I sprinkle it in on the warm water. Taking two tablespoons from my one cup of sugar and sprinkling it in with yeast, this helps to activate the yeast and get it starting to bloom a whole lot quicker. You may ask what on earth is blooming yeast? It is whenever it sets for about five minutes and it starts to bubble. You want to wait to add your very soft butter and your four beaten eggs till after it has bloomed. Next, you are going to add the rest of your sugar, one and a quarter tablespoons of salt, one cup of dried mashed potatoes. I use King Arthur's bread flour for this. I use seven cups using my paddle on my machine. And then I switch it over to the hook, adding the three remaining cups of flour. There's a total of 10 cups of flour in this. I will have this recipe linked below. I keep it going until I start seeing the dough come off of the sides of the bowl. I then dump it out on the counter and finish kneading my dough by hand. This is a recipe that you actually could make by hand if you wanted to but I choose to use my mixer. It certainly helps on the shoulders. I'm just gonna show you how I knead my dough and how uh, basically my dad taught me some of this. And that is to fold and fold. And you do not want to like squish it between your fingers any more than possible. That way it doesn't get so sticky. If your dough is too sticky, add some more flour to it. Growing up with my dad being a baker, he had a great big mixer. He had a medium-sized mixer and then he had a KitchenAid mixer. So the closest I could get to having anything like he would have had would have been a KitchenAid mixer. Next I oiled my pan and put my dough in it and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. This is a real forgiving dough. I then put a cloth over it and I set it on my stove where it's warm. Next I prepare two half sheets with a quarter of a cup of butter and I melt that butter in the oven and then I put one and a half cup of brown sugar in the bottom of each pan, pouring the mixture of two tablespoons of vanilla and four tablespoons of water over this and then mixing it together with a fork. If you don't have half sheets, use nine by 13s and divide it up. Okay, my dough is ready and it is time to make sticky buns. This is the fun part. Dumping the dough out on the counter, I'm gonna show you how to cut dough without using a knife. The trick with this is to not take your fingers and really dig in. Again, it will make your fingers very sticky. You pick it up and you pinch it and it comes apart beautifully. You have two sections. You take the one section, lay it out, and I don't even use a rolling pin. I just pat it out and then I start with my butter and, that I have melted. It is one cup and I start to just butter it on nice and thick. Next I sprinkle the cinnamon on nice and thick. Next putting a nice layer of brown sugar on top of the cinnamon. I use my pizza cutter which I missed on camera. Anyway, I cut um, about one inch strips and then rolled them up and put them into my pan on top of the goo. With this recipe, using the brown sugar in the cinnamon roll itself and in the bottom, it takes one bag. Okay, here I had actually had some leftovers, so I put them into some other little pans. Let them raise for about 20 minutes and then bake them at 350. I bake for around 20 minutes. If I want them to be a little darker, I just bake them longer. Using the other part of my dough, I decided to make small ones. I just cut them in half. This is a pan of the small ones. The other pan 
is the bigger ones. While they are baking, I make the frosting, which is six cups of powdered sugar, one cup of soft butter, three teaspoons of vanilla, and a half a cup of water. You will want to frost these before they are totally cold. It just makes them so much better. This recipe freezes very well. I hope that your family enjoys your sticky buns. I know that they will. This is one of my family's favorites. Look at that goo on the bottom, just so delicious. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Hit that little bell. It will notify you when I have a new recipe up or a DIY. And I'll see you in the next video.